Hi everyone, my name is Anne-Marie. Welcome to day two of our mini-series featuring the Anna Griffin Easy, sorry, the Anna Griffin Easel Card Die Set. Now yesterday we made a completely gorgeous easel card using the set. Today we we're also going to make a card but not an easel card. So we're going to make a gorgeous shaped card using the dies and I want to show you how to think outside the box with them and I'm hoping this week we'll do that and make you think outside the box with any of the die sets that you've got just showing that you can do completely different things with them and get value for money because at the end of the day that's what it's all about I'm just like you, I'm a crafter I enjoy what to do and I enjoy thinking you know what, I could do that with that as well that would look great and then doing it and you know sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't and this week I think just shows exactly how far you can take your crafting with just one set now everything I do use I shall put in a detailed list on my blog please be sure to check my blog because there's so many projects on there and there's so many different things that you know I'm sure you'll like that will suit somebody um, if you fancy getting in touch with me you can always comment on Facebook you can always message me on Facebook you can always comment or message me through my blog or email me through my blog if there's anything that you'd like to see but bear in mind I can only show products that have been in the UK um, from Anna's visits so but I shall do my best so, you know, I love hearing from you, so please comment. If you comment on YouTube, I can't always get back to you because I've got a glitch on my account. So don't be thinking I'm rude or anything. It's just YouTube. They're being rude. So, okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut the actual easel out of the Rose Designer Collection paper. The gorgeous rose paper from it and I've cut out the full um, easel base shall we say and I've already scored it but I'm going to do it again just to show you now we don't have to score the edge, ed, edge tab <laughs> so because we're going to trim that now I've also cut out another piece and I've trimmed that down to the base where that score is yeah, if you can see that so I've already just taken off this edge but for this I'm going to trim this section here there we go so I'm taking that section away and then what I'm going to do is turn that over and as if by magic there's already some tape on there for me some flat tape so I'm going to peel the tape away and we're going to create a gorgeous shaped card now where I've cut this section down of the easel, I'm going to call it the easel base because that's exactly what it is we're going to measure it up line it up, marry it up, whatever you call it and stick the two sections together like that there we go and we've got our card base because we're going for this shape and style so we're going to do as normal the inside first and what I thought was we'd stick with the traditional shadow frame layer and I keep calling it the shadow frame which it is the shadow um, frame layer it's the ornate frame layer I should call it you know what you mean there's only five dies in the set so it's the shadow layer 
So I've taken the tape off the back and I'm going to add this to the inside of our card like so. And then I've taken one of the flourish dies from the Fancy Flourish 2 set. I've cut it out in the Anna, um, the Anna Griffin satin card and I'm just going to add it to one side. Now I know you can see the tape and you sat there thinking, oh I can see the tape on that. Well, I've taken one of the actual embellishments from the Rose Designer set. I'm going to trim that little edge off like so. Get rid of that. And then I'm going to add that over the top like so. So you've still got room to write in there. And... Lots of room for your messages, your to, from, etc. And now we can decorate the front. Because you can see where I'm going with this now, can't you? For the shape and everything. Okay, so the next layer for this is the shadow layer. I've cut this out from Anna's metallic black card that's in the metallic 7x5 layers. I should add, which I, I think I've just forgot to say, everything I do use, I should put in a detail list on my blog, day by day, and then you'll see everything that's being used for that particular day to make that particular card. So I always check my blog if you wanted to know what I've used or if it's a certain brand or something, because if I forget to mention it, I will write it on there because I have a list on my cheat sheet uh, telling me what I've used here and then I can transfer it, you see, onto my blog so that then you all know what I've used. So that's our shadow layer. Next we want the ornate layer. So I've cut that out and I've also put it on 3D foam. So flowers grow upwards. So we'll go that way with it and we'll add that to the top of our previous layer like so. So pretty so far. Now I'm thinking two of these gold flourishes would look fabulous at either side of the centre. These are the same flourishes that I used um, for the inside and again on the using the Anna Griffin satin gold cardstock. And then I've also taken this is the this is on your special day sorry just can't break these teeth in at all. On this special day this is an embellishment from um, the Rose Collection. I've got it on 3D foam and I'm going to pop that through the centre of the card. I've also got two embellishments of roses. Again, with 3D foam on the back. Just to add at either side, like that and a little bow to finish it off at one corner. There we go. And that is our card finished. And I think that is such a pretty card. And it's using the easel card set. It's just oh, such a versatile die set. And now you're thinking, Wow, yeah, that's um, that's different. It goes in a 7x5 envelope because it's just the same size as an easel card. And here's the easel card we made yesterday. There we go. 
so it's just the same size although this goes a sideways opening that's our razor card so you know we're picking up the pace with our you know mini series and tomorrow we're going to make something completely different I just hope that it's going to help you think outside the box and I think it will so I do hope you've enjoyed watching and I'd just like to say thank you for watching and I shall see you tomorrow